are you all doing? I know that you guys are doing wonderful with your family. So welcome to my channel. Welcome to Stella Zone. If you're a new subscriber, I want to say thank you and welcome. I know I look tired, but I'm not tired. All right, so what am I doing? What am I up to today? It's just very simple. Just I just wanted to show you this. So, um, tomatoes. <laughs> so lately I've been making like the sauce that I will use in making either my soup or my stew. So to make my sauce um, for my stew or my soup, all you need, you just need some few basic ingredients and that is it, okay? So um, I have tomatoes here. You can see it's like lots of tomatoes here, okay? I have about three small size of red bell pepper, all right? It's going to give it a nice aroma and a, a sweet taste to it. I have onions here okay and in this little bowl that i have here i have three scotch bonnet pepper um about four dry chili pepper i have garlic cloves in here and of course good old ginger okay so what i'm going to do is i need to i'm going to wash these tomatoes clean it wash the bell pepper clean everything i'm not going to take the seeds out um I'm just going to clean everything and then put it in the blender, blend it, and then cook it on the stove, okay? So, watch out. Oh, I have two that I'm going to be using for, I'm actually going to be making two things, cabbage stew and jollof rice. And I'm not using any meat for my jollof rice. I mean, I'm just going to be using fish. I'll put it here. Okay. All right. And go. So this is everything peeled and um, sliced up into sizable, like a size that can fit in my blender. Okay. So as you can see, I have my garlic cloves. I have my bow, red bell pepper here. I have my ginger on there. I have my onions. I have my peppers on there too. My habanero, scotch bonnet, and then I have my dry chili pepper as well. So what I'm going to do is. Let me show you guys um, something else. So I'm going to blend this, okay, and then cook this on the stove. Um, bring it to like a boil and then let it cool down. Like, like let it simmer, reduce, to thicken up to use for my stew. But I'm going to add this, okay. I know some people, um, they will add um, what is sugar to when they are making like tomato um, sauce. So that, you know, it will help with the tartness, I believe. But you don't have to. You can use good old kale, salt, peter, okay? In Ghana, kale or kawa, kale. So that's what I have in here, salt, peter. So I'm going to not a lot, just a little bit to help. Um, it's going to help with the tightness of the tomatoes. So when it cooks, it's going to cook nice and they're really tasty. So you don't have that tart tomato taste, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's what we are going to achieve with this. So let's start. This is a lot of tomatoes. I have about 15 tomatoes that I sliced up. So, we don't blend this. Hold on, once I, I blend everything there. So I am blending this without water, okay? The trick is you don't have to add water. Tomatoes contain water. So just make sure you um, learn your blender with the tomatoes. The tomatoes can go to the bottom. So in that way, you don't have to add any water. And then the rest of the ingredients, it's like can go in the middle. Then you put tomatoes again on top. So that sort of thing. Not adding any water. Just gonna put this back. That's right, you need my bigger pot. No, this is okay. This is a lot of sauce, and I am gladly going to be cooking this. I'm boil it. Mm hmm. Going to see. Make sure you add the red bell peppers, okay? It's green too, because sometimes these tomatoes, um, if it's not too ripe, 
but then if you want to get that red consistency by just adding that red bell pepper will do that the last thing I'm adding to this will be my kiln I'm trying to find a small kiln here since this is a lot this is how much kiln this is it that I'm using putting this in here I'm going to have the heat on high because I want this to come to a boil and then I will lower the heat for it to like reduce okay and then by that it will simmer it's like it's already starting to so guys see I use this method you can make a, a lot of these like how I'm doing like what I'm doing now it's a it's a lot so if you want to make jollof rice you can use this method um, if you want to make stew soups, you just scoop it, add it to your um, light soup, add it to your palm nut soup, add it to your peanut butter soup. It's just easy to have this like in your fridge, okay? Sometimes when you, you can put it in the freezer, you can do this, put it in the freezer. But the thing is, you know, it's going to, like when you put it in the freezer, it's going to freeze up. And then it will also introduce more liquid back into the sauce. So what you have to do is if you put it in the, you can blend it and keep it in the freezer. When you are ready to make your soup and your sauces, then you take it out and cook it, all right, before using it. So hopefully this helps. This is my finished product for the sauce. You see how, I mean, I brought it from boiling to where I lowered the heat to just for it to reduce more like simmer. And now I know this is a lot. So when you so in how this how much time? How much time? Yeah. Uh, I didn't even pay attention to when I cooked it. So probably I would say maybe forty five minutes. You know, just just let it sit and cook till it reduces, so where you can hardly like see um any liquid. Okay, any water. Let me just say that there's still but any water. So with this, this is cooked. Okay. So when you, in that case, when you're making your stew, you don't have to do it that much. You don't have to recook it over, like for a longer period, okay? So since this is like already cooked, when you get your um, oil going, you want to add some onions and you can cook this, you can add this to your oil and then let this cook for another extra 10, 10, 15 minutes if you want to really cook. But other than that, you can just scoop this. It can directly go into your soup. It can directly go into your any sauce that you want to make. You want to make jollof rice, you can start making your stew with this, okay? So this is it for me. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to use fresh tomatoes, it's a good way to add, um, I don't know, flavor to your... Try something new, guys. <laughs> so if you want to make this, yeah, go ahead and make this, okay? Go ahead and make fresh tomato jollof rice. So as you can see, I have my macro here. I'm going to be making two things with this sauce. I'm going to be making cabbage stew and um, jollof rice. It's going to be a lot of cabbage stew, a lot of jollof rice. That's why I have this much. So whatever I have left will go in the fridge. Thank you, guys. Um, give this recipe a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all my subscribers. Until we meet again right here on Stellar Zone, have a fantastic day. Stay blessed. Love you, guys.